to the uh, Georgia Cumberland Academy Seventh-day Adventist Church. Just a couple of announcements as we begin, and most of them have to do with, with other concerts that are coming up. Tuesday night, uh, the Cobo Elementary School will have a Gift of Hope Christmas program. That's Tuesday, December 18 at 7 p.m. with choirs and the band and the handbells, and that'll be at the Cobo Elementary Gym. Just prior to that, there's a Cobo constituency meeting, uh, and that will be at the uh, new GCA cafeteria, the little dining room right off to the side of that. And that is to discuss some things with the old Cobo building. And you may not know it, but believe it or not, everybody who's a member of the GCA church and the Calhoun church are invited to come and participate in that meeting because you are all part of the constituency of Coble Elementary. So that will be um, Tuesday night at 6 p.m., just prior to the, the Coble Christmas concert. Um, there'll be a Camerata concert. You'll see them this morning, but they'll also be singing this afternoon at 4 o'clock. And then next Sabbath, the students will not be here. You will be, oh, we, you will still be here, won't you? No, you'll be gone by then. Okay. Um, next sa Saturday night at the Calhoun Church, there's a Jamie George concert at 6 p.m. Uh, with some other guest artists as well. So I want to invite us as we continue in worship with this festival of carols. You may not realize it, but Festival of Carols has a long history. Uh, on the front of your program, it says it's the 27th annual Festival of Carols at GCA. Uh, but the first uh, ongoing, long-going Festival of Carols took place at the uh, uh, King's College Church in Cambridge, England. And it has been going on Christmas Eve every year since 1918. And it is uh, broadcast on the BBC every year. Um, so that was a hundred years ago that churches have gathered together to read the Christmas story, to read the lessons, to sing carols, and to be reminded of the Christ child. So we are a part of a long-standing and glorious Christian tradition as we are gathered here today. So we will uh, sing now as we invite our uh, opening hymn. Our opening carol is uh, number 119, Angels from the Realms of Glory.
may be seated. Good morning, happy Sabbath. In just a couple of weeks, 2018 will be over and 2019 will come about. Has it been a good year for you and me? Have we been blessed by God with good health, prosperity, and spiritual growth? Or have times been tough and maybe even discouraging for us now that finals is coming? The world in general is filled with misery and woe, and sometimes it even touches us and our loved ones, regardless of our circumstances. God has told us to focus our hopes on the better land to come. Happy is the Christian who can sing with enthusiasm. This world is not my home, I'm just passing through. My treasure is laid up somewhere beyond the blue. And whatever our lot in life, all it takes is one trip to a disadvantaged land or a refugee camp to put things in perspective and realize that we are truly blessed. Let us then plan to bring all the tithes into the storehouse by the year's end, that the Lord's house may truly prosper and be blessed. May the deacons please rise. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this day, and thank you for all of the many blessings that you have given us and our talents and gifts, and thank you that we have been able to um, survive another year, and um, please help us all as we finish out um, this year and go into a new one. Um, thank you for everything you've done. In your name we pray, amen. story, so I want to invite all the young people, but I see the choir over there has to stay where they're at, and I understand that, but any others, please come forward, and uh, the church members might have a dollar or two or more to hand you, and we'll put it in the little uh, church for our children's ministries, 
And uh, please be careful because there's lots of microphones up here that you don't need to trip over or touch. And uh, come on up for an exciting children's story. Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. And something else that I can say now, because it's that time of the year, not just Happy Sabbath, but Merry Christmas. I love this, type of, this time of year. I love doing children's stories, and I love Christmas time, and I like putting them together. And, oh, man, I forgot. Dean Albert said he wanted to help me with this children's story sometime, and he hasn't, I've never told him he could. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you, you can help me today. Because it's, it's an easy story what we're doing today. We're going to do the, the first part of the nativity story. Do you know what the I'm nativity so story is? Does it work? Do you Hello? know what the nativity story is? That's like the story Ooh, of Christmas. Did you just say a nativity story? Nativity. That's Whoa, what we're doing. Oh, excellent. I made a list. All right. Well, uh, you don't need a see. list. No, it's okay. I got it. Here. Uh, let's we're, see. We need Joseph and Mary. We need a Joseph and a Mary. Hmm... Well, is it really mm. volunteer Sabbath? Uh, uh, Lily and Uche, can you be Joseph and Mary? Come on up. Oh, there they are. They have costumes. Joseph for, and Mary. Oh, we need a manger. No, it's okay. I got it. I got it. Um, let's see. Ooh, oh, wise men. I'm wise sorry, men. We need wise, wise men, men, of course, to come worship Jesus. Well, it looks like we're going to have wise yes, men in the wise story today. men. Oh, there they are, my three wise men. All right, so just stand right we over do here. have wise men. Uh huh. Um, All right. Shepherds. Even shepherds. That's what we need. Of course, shepherds can't go without shepherds for nativity story. Shepherds, we please come on out. We're necessarily going to have shepherds in our Come story on the other today, side to worship Jesus. It's okay. You have. It's looking great. Where did come all these now. shepherds come from? Oh, angels. How could I forget angels? Well, we do need angels. Yeah, angels. So, angels, please come on out. Angels, please come and worship Jesus. How, where did all oh, these people ooh. come from? You know, now that I think about it, we need a villain in this story. You know, make it interesting, you know? There's not so, a really a villain. In Herod. The, Herod. Sounds hey, good. We're going to have Herod, Herod yeah, in the King nativity Herod. scene? Yeah, King Herod. So where's my King Herod? We got oh, a Herod. Oh, perfect. We need a villain. Yes. And he's got soldiers. Ooh, this now. This is not something I really want to No, it's okay. Put now, in um, our nativity I think, story. I think we need some comic relief, an innkeeper. Yeah, we need an innkeeper There was here. an innkeeper yeah, involved yeah, yeah. in the story. Innkeeper and the people in the inn. All right. I'm, I'm um, sorry. This is a now, lot Now, Mary and Joseph, it can you get this. in the middle, please? All right. Almost there. Excellent. Looks great. All right, you can start now. 
We're ready. All right, um, boys and girls, we'll tell the story I was going to tell, but mm -hmm. it's going to be a little bit different, I think, than what you're expecting, because I just wanted to tell the first part of the nativity story. And the first part did not have Herod, so you can well, go sit down. Well, Take your soldiers I, with I you. I thought I... No, see, uh, Herod but, really wasn't even there. Sure? See, we're, we're only doing the first part, and the oh. wise men, they didn't come until a what? lot later. So, wise men, I'm not going to need you guys uh, to go sit down. All right, go ahead. You're kind of ruining my scene here, but okay, all right. Also, the first part that I want to tell, it was before the shepherds got to the manger. So, shepherds, well, no, we're not going to need you. Shepherds, away. you can leave. No. Uh, and... Okay, at least the innkeeper has to stay. Well, innkeeper. This was Come before on. they got to the main. This is before uh, they got to town. So the innkeeper, don't we do don't need the me. innkeeper. You know, he looked good. Okay, and, so at least the angels are. Well, here. the angels are yeah, always around us. Yeah. But the part of that I'm of the story that I want to tell is before the angels sang to the shepherd. So angels, I'm not going to need you either. But thank you, uh, thank you for okay. being here. We appreciate you. All right. Okay, so at least we have Mary and Joseph and have, baby Jesus. We have Mary Jesus, yeah, baby good. Jesus and Joseph. But yeah. the part of the story I want to tell today was before Mary and Joseph had Jesus, and they what? weren't even there yet. So we don't need Mary and Joseph. Mm, uh, we don't need baby Jesus yet. Oh, okay, right. Now we can start to tell the story, the yes. first part of the nativity story. With nobody here. Well, Excellent. nobody was here in the part I want to talk about. Well, okay, how about Mary when the angel came to her? That's part of nativity, right? So yeah. Mary and the angel, please come on out. Okay, be great. Yeah. yeah, we need That we need did someone. happen yeah. Yeah. before Mary Jesus was born. The angel did come to Mary, remember, in a dream and said, Mary, you're going to be the father of Jesus. But this is before that. So we don't, angels and Mary, we don't need you. This well, is before that. I, even before the angel came to talk okay, to Mary. Okay, uh, before that. Ooh, Zacharias in the temple. Excellent. Zacharias, please. We need a come Zachariah. On now. Who's going to be Zacharias? <laughs> Zacharias? There he is. There. Yeah. Perfect. Um, I thank you for your willingness, but the part of the story I want to tell is before Zachariah. Let's see, before. Okay. I got it. Micah the prophet. Oh, hundreds Micah of prophet. years before. Yeah, there hey, you you're go. starting before, to get the right before. idea. Yeah. Micah, Micah the prophet. Pro he prophesied Who that Bethlehem be would the be the prophet. city. But, hmm. but do we have any? Let's see. Oh, there's Micah the prophet. But, oh, okay, yeah, Micah, excellent. you can stay there because this is before Micah. The All right, first Micah, part of the, of the nativity story. Okay, so way, way back. All right, ooh, lineage. King David. King David. I see how you there's chose King, King David. David. Come on, because you're yeah, King his great-great-great-grandson. Yes. Yeah. But this is before David, so we didn't need David. Wow. Okay, so way, before that. way back. Ooh, you're not going to sit these people down. Adam and Eve, please stand up. <laughs> ah, perfect. Adam and Eve. Okay, you're yeah, getting we're the right now. idea. We're talking about the first part of the nativity story. is before Adam and Eve. Oh, man. Well, I'm confused. How are you going to do it? Okay, boys and girls, this is my favorite part of the nativity scene. This happened even before Adam and Eve. The very first part of the nativity was when God was in heaven talking to his first angel. Father God, it was always an honor for me to be in your presence. I am so happy that you asked me to come today. As soon as I heard you wanted to see me, I dropped everything and flew right over. I'm glad you came quickly. I am so excited that you are here. I am excited also. What can I do for you to show my thanks for this honor of having a private meeting with my God? Can I write you a poem or a song? No, a, a whole musical. Let me write a whole musical for the heavenly choir to sing for you. If I started right now, I could have it complete and ready to sing for you next Sabbath. I will do the solo. I can already hear in my mind it will be about your greatness and your power and your honor. You will love me so much more when I perform this next week. <laughs> Lucifer, Lucifer, Lucifer. I am so grateful that you love me. That is enough. 
There is nothing that you could ever do that would make me love you any more than I do now. And there is nothing that you can ever do that would make me love you any less than I do right now. I love you completely. Well, I feel like doing something for you. I am so very honored that you asked me to come here to your throne room to talk. Usually we only see your son come in for a private meeting. I can't believe that I am being honored above all other angels by being here with you now. I asked you to come here today, Lucifer, because I am so excited. My son and I were talking, and we have decided to do something new. We are going to create something new, something special, something extraordinary. I love it. Something new. And you are telling me first, it is something new that I can use? When you created music, I understood your gift, and I was able to use it better than any of the other angels to praise your name. When you created art, I was able to spend more time to make more beautiful sculptures and more intricate paintings to praise you than any other angel also. What can I do for you now? This will be the most amazing thing that I have created. My son and I have been talking for a while, and we have decided to create a new race of beings. That is amazing! You have created many different races on many different planets, and they are all different. I am constantly amazed at your greatness. What will they be like this time? That is what I am so excited about. This is going to be my best creation yet. I am going to make man. Man? I'm sure it'll be wonderful. Um, Father God, did you just say man will be your best creation yet? Yes. And this is what makes this such a great creation. I'm going to make man in my image. You are making man in your own image? No other creation in universe has been created in your image. This is uh, this, this unheard of. What an honor. What a gift. This is just so incredible. Yes, Lucifer, that is exactly what man is going to be. Incredible. What gifts will you give them? Will they be super strong? Will they be extra fast? Will they be blessed with the most beautiful music, art, or intelligence? They will have strength and speed and will have beautiful art and music and intelligence. But they won't have as much as many of the other races, certainly not as much as you angels. I see. Uh, this sounds like such an honor, but they are not going to be as strong or as fast or as talented as angels. Um, Look, Father God, I have an idea. Instead of making man, why don't you just bless me some more? If I had more talent, more strength, more intelligence, more speed, I could praise your name even better. You don't need to make man. Lucifer, I love you just the way that you are. I made you higher than all the other angels because I love you, and I know that you love me. There is nothing else I could give you or make you to be better. You are my best angel. And I have to make man. I have so much love that I can barely contain. I need to express my love, and so I am going to express it by this new creation. And it is so special. I have been working on this for so long. I need to do something special for man. And the only way I can express it this way is to make him in my image. Are you sure you don't want to just bless me more instead? Haven't I shown you that I have all these talents, all of the time, all of my energy, and I use them to praise you. If you bless me more, I will reflect it in all back to you, and you will love me even more. Lucifer, I love you so much. I have blessed you so much. There is nothing that you could do or say that would make me love you more or less. My love for you is complete, but I have so much love in my heart that I have to create something else. I need to make man. All right. Of course you are right. You are God. I don't understand it, but I'm not God. Thank you for telling me. May I tell the other angels of your new plans? I should be going now. I need to write that song for next Sabbath I was talking about. Thank you, Father God. Goodbye. Oh, Lucifer, Lucifer, my best angel. Why can't you understand my love for you? Why do you let thoughts of jealousy and pride enter your heart? I need to make man. But now I see that before I create man, I need to create a plan to save man. 
uh, my, my son, will you come here? We need to talk. Did you hear what happened? This was before Jesus was born. This was before Mary and Joseph were born. This was before Adam and Eve were born. This was before God even made man. God sent Jesus to us as a gift because Jesus needed to live a life so he could save us from our sins. But before God could send Jesus, God had to make the plan to send Jesus. And so that's why, that's my favorite part of the nativity story. Before God even made man, he needed to make a plan to save man. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, you're right, I don't need this list. Okay, boys and girls, every time you think about the nativity, remember that God loves us so much that he started the nativity thousands of years, even before Jesus was born. Please bow your heads for prayer. Dear God, thank you for loving us so much that you sent your son as a baby to live a life to save us. And thank you for loving us so much that you made that plan even before you made man. In your name we pray. Amen. You can go back to your seats. Please kneel for our congregational prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this season, a season where we can reflect on the fact that in a world full of sin, in a world full of pain, in a world full of, of suffering, that you brought joy into the world and that you brought peace into the world through your son, Jesus. We thank you so much for that. And as we, as we think about this uh, during this season, as we think about Emmanuel, God with us, that your son gave up the throne to be with us, uh, Lord, help that to convict us all the more to seek your glory in our lives. Help, us to con help, help that to convict us all the more to, to do your will in our lives, to seek your kingdom in our lives, to treat others with love and respect, and to honor you in every aspect of our lives. Lord, I want to pray for all the families that are represented here today. I pray that you would strengthen the families, especially during this time of year. I pray for our school Lord, that you would just continue to bless us as, as, we, uh, as we seek to, to, grow, to grow young people to love you more. I pray that you be with our church as we attempt through, to capture the hearts and minds of young people. I pray that you be with our students as they prepare for finals, Lord. We ask that you just invade every part of our lives and we give you permission to do that. We love you. We cannot wait to see you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.
Good morning, happy Sabbath. Um, now we're gonna turn to the hymn 115, that is O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Please hymn. open your hymns. Hymn number 115, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Please stand. The people that walked in darkness had seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them had the light shined.
month the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary and the angel came in unto her and said hail thou that art highly favored the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and when she saw him she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be and the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favour with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and he shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then Mary said unto the angel, how shall this be, seeing I not know a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible." And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her.
of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins.
And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up to Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and the lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them at the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. 
and the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had seen and heard as it was told unto them.
Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, art not the least among the princes of Judea, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people of Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when he have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh.
name was Simeon, and the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Ghost was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, then he took him up in his arms and he blessed God and said, Lord, now let us thou, thy, dis- thy servant, depart in peace according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. A light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him.
It is impossible to add any words of hope to the scriptures, to the songs. So I want to reiterate a couple passages that have already been uh, read. The Gospel of Luke records four songs, and they're often referred to by the Latin title taken from the first words. There's Mary's song, known as the Magnificat. In Luke chapter 1, she says, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, says Mary. Zachariah's song, the Benedictus, also in Luke 1, says, Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has come and has redeemed his people. And then there's the angel song in Luke chapter 2, Gloria in excelsis Deo. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And finally, in Luke 2, there's Simeon's song, the Nuke Demetus, which says, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you now dismiss your servant in peace, for my eyes have seen your salvation. These songs of the Christmas story look beyond the cradle and they look to the cross. The nativity story looks beyond from creation all the way to the coming kingdom. And so words of hope are spoken to us in John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. And so as we celebrate Christmas time, we too look beyond the cradle to the cross. We look beyond the cross to the coming kingdom. And we believe that one day very soon, Jesus is coming again. And just as young people, children of all ages, wait in eager anticipation for Christmas morning to see what it hides underneath the colored packages, they wait to unwrap them. But we don't have to wait to unwrap God's gift. The gift of salvation can be ours right now to whosoever believes. So it's my prayer that each one of us today will accept Jesus in our heart, will accept the free gift of salvation. And each time over the next few weeks that we hear this story of Christmas, we will also remember the story of the cross and we will remember the story of the soon coming heaven.
Open your hymnals to him number 125. We will be singing the first and fourth verse of Joy to the World.
Dear Lord, we give joy to you on this day because of what you have done for us. And we can sing, this I know, that you are coming again. This I know that we may reign with you as we accept and love you. And Lord, we praise you for the gifts and the talents which you have shared upon all the participants today and that they were willing to share them with us, to lift you up and to bring glory to your name. And may we do that this week. May others see your love shining through our life. In your name we pray, amen. Be sure to say thank you to Mrs. Nesmith and to all of the participants for this program.